Hi everyone. Well, today I'm going to demonstrate my fall winter color palette that I put on my skin uh, to change things up for this time of year. I did a skincare blog article on it and now I'm going to demonstrate the shades and uh, I'll walk you through it and I'll describe each shade as I apply it. So anyway, this is it. This is what I wear with my new fall colors. So come watch and enjoy. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to start out with uh, priming the lid. Now, unlike a lot of eyeshadows out there, ours are not just colored micas. We actually formulate them into an eyeshadow base and uh, they have great adhesion. Um, so all I'm going to prime my lids with, believe it or not, is, let me get this, is my, uh, just my uh, Perfect Balance Facial Toner in a spray bottle. So I'm just going to kind of spritz the outer lid with a little bit of moisture and then I'm going to get which from my brush here. Um, I'm going to start with blushing, very, very muted type of a rose, another dusty rose shade. And as you can see, it's a very beautiful, very soft muted rose. And, and again, I, I, I spritz my lids because I like it to adhere quickly and I like the color intensity of this shade. Um, also, because it is a lighter shade, definitely come over into the little corner of your eye near the uh, tear duct. This will widen your eye and make it look better because um, my eyes are a little close set, plus they're small. And I just kind of go all over and apply it. You can also do get the same with a, um, a moistened brush, but I find it's just faster and easier just to spray my lids. Cat lids get a little dry and uh, let's do it again. And what's nice is it just helps set your makeup too while you're uh, putting it on there. I love this shade and it's got just the perfect sheen to it. Um, okay, you can see I'll move it kind of around. You can kind of see the sheen a little bit if I move it around. And it's just right. I just love this shade. Okay. And that is called blushing for women that want to know what it is. Hopefully the lights in here aren't bleeding it too badly. You know, that's the problem with vanity lights. It may tend to bleed the color. But uh, anyway, you can see I love the sheen. Okay, we're going to move on to accenting with fire and ice. Or excuse me, not fire, not fire and ice. We're going to use, um, sorry, Sienna Spice. <laughs> I love fire and ice too, so I get them mixed up. All right, Sienna Spice is next. Okay, now that I clarified that it is not fire and ice, but um, uh, Sienna Spice that we're using today. As you can see, I'm wearing a really coppery shirt, so I've got copper on the brain. Um, but anyway, now we're going to uh, get out my little angled uh, blush, uh, little angled brush. And um, I have a very tiny eye, so I talked about these in my tutorial. These are a very narrow bristle, so they define my eyelid um, better, and I can place the minerals right where I want them. So this is a beautiful burgundy um, uh, color tone that I in this one. Um, Sienna Spice is just I love it too, and it just it's a kind of a mix of spicy copper with some burgundy. So um, you kind of get the best of both worlds here. So uh, anyway, I'm going to begin by starting here in my crease, and again the little brush keeps the color right where I want it. As you can see, it's it's a deeper tone, but it's not so deep that it, it really jumps out at you. I mean, it's just um, it's just the right amount of color. I love it. So okay, and then I bring it down here, like I showed before, and I keep on blending and blending and blending. Another way to define that crease, and it's a little tip that I've learned from other makeup artists, because I'm, I'm certainly not one, um, is to leave your eye open and to take your brush and wedge it up into the actual natural crease and to go back and forth just, just like that. And, um, and that lays down the majority of it right where you want it for accuracy. And then, of course, you can blend up into the brow bone and, and soften it. So uh, anyway, you can see how that's coming. That's looking pretty good. 
And I tend to let the, the crease color go on a little more muted so I don't uh, spritz my eyelid before this one and I don't apply this wet. Now you can, it makes a great liner color, um, but I like it, you know, more muted uh, because um, I get enough intensity just by doing it, you know, really nicely with uh, delicate sweeps and not overpowering the eye. Um, Plus, I try to also create an artificial crease for me because I also have one eye especially is a little droopier than the other. Um, so I try to... But you can see the intensity isn't overpowering. Tiger Eye, I think, is actually a little stronger when I showed it in my video. This goes on a little more subtly, and uh, that's important. So um, anyhow, let me take my, my Chubby Blender again. Great for fixing fallout or... Um, Anything you might experience like that, you know, go back up and touch up, get it right down on the sides if you get a little too heavy. And you can see it just kind of blends it right back out. I love this little brush. It is so great. I call it the mistake eraser. It just fixes things up right now. Okay, so that's that. And, um, and as you can see, it's just the right amount of crease color. And I love it. I think it's just I think it's just perfect. I don't. Hopefully, like I said, I hope the lights aren't bleeding it too badly. Um, of course, like anything, video pictures, like on my website, they don't do the colors justice. You really have to try them. They're just they're just beautiful. Um, then I've got this little new. Uh, it's a it's called a um, eyeshadow bookie, and I'm trying it out. It's not up for sale yet, but I love this because I can basically go over my eye and just kind of blend it really quickly. A lot of women use the all, you know, a large shading brush where you get, but this is so fast and um, it just blends my colors together beautifully. And as you can see now, they're, they're not as uh, enhanced in one area. They're just kind of blended together very nicely. Um, and now I feel like my, my tone is just right. And then of course you can set your eyeshadow color again, like I do, I spritz it again. And what this does, I kind of blow on it a little bit with my hand to dry the eyelid. And that helps set the mineral powders that much more. So when you talk about primers, you really don't need a primer with ours. They, they stay on pretty much all day. Um, so And even with an oily lid, no amount of primer is going to keep your eye from creasing the lid. So, But, but as a whole, our minerals do much better even on oily eyelids uh, for staying put all day long. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put my mascara on, and, um, and then I'll show you my lip colors. Okay, we're going to put on the final touches, and it's going to be my Berries and Cream lip color, which is right here. Beautiful shade, nice muted, uh, kind of a combination of a creamy mauve combined with Plum Fairy, a very plum, little plum, plum shade. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put that on now. The feel is very velvety in texture and very soothing to the lips. For definitely heals dry, chapped lips. So it kind of doubles not only as a lip color but also as a healing emollient uh, for, as we know, the cold winter weather. Uh, chapped lips are no more. Now I'm going to go up to our Copper Spice, which is going to be my top coat in the lip glaze, and I'll show you a little bit of it first on the uh, on my finger, so you can see kind of what it looks like. And that's it the, there. It's a nice copper color with a little bit of berry in it, but it, it really is more of a, a coppery color. So I put it over the top. So as you can see now, it just kind of deepens my lip color a little bit and gives it a little more pop with a little more shimmer, which is what I like and uh, it looks really good. So anyway, that's what you want to do for fall. You want to spiffy up your fall fashions by increasing a little bit of color intensity on your color palette and you'll look beautiful and still be youthful without getting too intense and too dark and it just gives a nice level of color for a nice youthful appearance. So anyway ladies, that's it. Have a great day. Christmas is just around the corner and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.